Hello and welcome to episode 23 of my Subnautica tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on exploring the Grand Reef, looking for rubies and gel sacks, which we will need in future episodes. Um, before that though, I just want to um, show something that uh, and mention something important for the Seamoth. Now I did remember when I used to play a few years ago when it was still being developed uh, Subnautica and I remember that the Seamoth had an inventory that you could use um, but I noticed the inventory was not there and I just dismissed that you know I just thought oh well it doesn't really matter anyway but I was exploring the Grand Reef and I come across something called a time capsule and I opened it up and got some text and didn't think much more of it but then when I got back and was empty in my pocket I noticed in my pocket was this a storage module uh, a small storage locker for the Seamoth and Prawn suit and I thought oh wow so there we go I found that I'm sure that that is what I got when I opened up the time capsule I wish I could have recorded it but that's why I'm gonna go back and have a look today and we'll see if we can find if there's another one lying on the ground which I don't need but anyway so now to use that of course we access the upgrades and I can now drop that in there and that is now given me the inventory that I remembered um, but I didn't realize that it was in a storage module anyway so now what I can do is store some items in here which I will probably just as a backup because I'm going to be exploring this Grand Reef so um, there we go just keep that stuff in there oh better eat that drink these coffees are good but they don't really give you a lot do they drink wise so that's why I've made up quite a bit of this right anyway so let's head to the Grand Reef and see if we can find rubies and gel sacks which, which like I say we are going to need so what I'm going to do for starters is go to my uh, starting location right by my life pod and there's island one which I visited in the previous episode to the right of it uh, jelly caves is in the way slightly let's see if I can bring that over so you can see the Grand Reef is from my life pod which is situated at them coordinates you can see that it's 1618 meters away so let's head there and remember keep the island one to your left yeah so I want to do an episode on the water filtration unit um, because it's great because not only does it give you water it gives you salt and with salt of course you can create disinfected water uh, so it's all good uh, it does do a huge power drain on the base making uh, the water filtration unit but that's okay just put down a load of solar panels if it's on the near the surface like my base is or nuclear reactor or whatever uh, thermal reactor whatever power source you want to choose but the water filtration is very handy for getting your excess water I mean you can just breed the bladder fish, fish which I've been doing they, they give unlimited water so you know the choice is yours but I just want to show as much details as I can I know that uh, later on we'll be needing ru rubies and gel sacks and I know it can be frustrating to find them uh, if you're new to Subnautica and so I thought it'd be handy to sh have an episode showing how to find both uh, we'll be going to a depth of about 260 meters uh, you can find the rubies from about 200 meters I think going downwards from that getting deeper as you're gonna see so hopefully you've uh, upgraded your Seamoth like I have so you can get to a depth of 300 meters 
And of course, the Grand Reef, below the Grand Reef, is the Deep Grand Reef. So maybe we'll go have a look at that in another episode. And hopefully it'll be a good one. Okay, so that's how you know when you've hit the Grand Reef, because you'll start seeing these, like, orbs, blue orbs. And then not only is there rubies and gel sacks, but you'll find a lot of quartz here. And quartz is very, very handy, as we all know. So I will grab that when I see it. All right, I'm going to have a quick look around here. I'm going to use the torch, actually, just to make sure that the video sh you can see clearly. I don't actually need the torch to see, but just to make sure the brightness is bright enough. There we go, there's our first ruby. So you can see at a depth of 243 metres. But I know that you can find them a little higher than that. Okay, so that's a ruby. One down. Let's see how many we can get. We are going to need them. And gel sacks as well, actually. Gel sacks look like the uh, plants, the, the table coral. With, no, not table coral. The other one that gives us air bubbles. Looks very much like that, but a smaller version. I'm not going to bother with them resources. Oh, there's another ruby. This one's at 231 metres. So you can see it does get more shallow. You can find them. There might be some up here. Let's have a look. So if you're needing rubies, now you know exactly where to go. Oh, some more quartz. Also, you can find... Um, Uranite, which we'll see if I can show getting some. Right, yeah, there are no rubies on that. I was just wondering if, the, if perhaps there were rubies this high up at. Uh, yeah, so I can't see any. But like I say, there's lots of quartz. You need quartz, this is the place to come. Oh, there's another ruby. It's good. Ah, oh, what's this over here? Thermal plant. I think I've already got that. Yeah. Was that? I could scan. Oh yeah, so there is some creature. I'm going to need to scan it to know what it's called. Oh, I better go back to my Seamoth and get some oxygen. Where, is, where did I leave? Oh, there it is. Okay, no gel sacks, but we will find them. We'll go a little deeper in. Oh, there's another ruby. And another ruby. You can see we're getting plenty of rubies. Oh, what's that? No, nothing. Yeah, we're getting plenty of rubies. So here's a place you can get, if you haven't got the thermal plant, here's where you can come to get that. The blueprints for that. You know, I'd be tempted to build a base over here for all the quartz that's here. There's just a ton of quartz. 
Right, I still haven't seen any gel sacks. How much space have I got left? Let's drink this coffee up. Yes, I've still got quite a bit of space. Let's grab more rubies. Now I want to see if I can find some gel sacks. Yeah, there's just loads of quartz. Ah, there we go, there's gel sacks. Two of them, side by side. There you go. Now I set the timer to 20 minutes, so I will just grab up whatever I can in that time until the timer goes. Um, I was wondering whether there'd be another time capsule around to show you that module upgrade for the Seamoth for to give it an inventory. Pocket space. As I like to say. Yeah, the gel sacks don't seem as common as the rubies. But if you spend enough time exploring the Grand Reef, you're going to fill your pocket up with them. What's that? Spade fish. I don't need spade fish. I've got lots of their eggs. I am looking though, keeping my eyes open for new creatures. I've not got. Oh, there's another gel sack. Okay, so we got three gel sacks. Gel sacks. Ooh. Gel sacks are used for making aero gel. Uh, right, okay. I don't know where my seam off is. And I'm going to drown. I am going to drown. Damn it. Can't remember where I... Oxygen. <sighs> Can't remember where. There it is. Getting too greedy. Yeah, look at that. Dang it. Yeah, getting too carried away looking for gel sacks and uh, I don't know how I've got one ruby left but I've lost a lot. doesn't matter, I can go back and get more. Okay, well I'm going to end the episode there because it's a long swim back. To get the seam off, I've learnt the hard way about being greedy and not paying attention to my oxygen levels. But there you go, the, per the episode has served its purpose. I've shown you where rubies and gel sacks are. Now I've got to go and get my seam off back. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. I hope this episode helped. Goodbye.